What's up everyone, Daniel here from Luminar, and today I'm doing an outdoor athletic portrait with my talent Mindy here, and I'm gonna be showing you how Luminar's newest update combines both mobile editing and desktop editing into one seamless workflow. We're also gonna be going over a couple of new tools that might make your editing very interesting. So I just wrapped out my shoe and I'm so excited to work on these images that I'm going to go right into the Luminar mobile app wherever I am and start getting a basic idea of what direction I want to take this edit in. Now I'm going to play with all of my favorite tools like Enhance AI, maybe a little bit of Structure AI, and definitely check out the film emulation presets to get inspired for how I want to go about this final edit. Once I figure out all the basic edits that I want to do on my phone, I can put it down, walk away from it, and all the edits that I've made inside of the Luminar mobile app will be ready waiting for me at home on my desktop version. I'm back at home and I have Luminar Neo open on my desktop. Now, if you've updated your software, you'll see a brand new tab here titled Luminar Mobile, and any edits that you make on the mobile app will appear here. In order to sync them from your phone to your desktop, you will press this Import Photo button and it'll take your images into a new folder called Space Imports. Now here you can see that I have all of the original edits from my mobile app in my history here, my Enhance AI, my Structure AI, my development, and my film emulation presets. But with the power of Neo now, I can take this edit even further using all of my desktop tools. One thing that I've noticed so far is that in my mobile editing, I've actually introduced a lot of blue color cast to this image. In order to remove that, I'm gonna to go to the color tab, I'm gonna do my HSL drop down, and then under saturation, I'm just gonna decrease the saturation of those blues, as well as some of the purples. However, removing a little bit of that blue color cast has taken away some of the life from this image. To bring that back, I'm going to go to my toning tab, and in the highlights, I'm gonna increase the saturation, then move that hue a little towards an orange yellow tone, and I'm gonna punch the saturation up quite a bit to warm up this shot. Now, if you've seen my previous Luminar tutorials, you'll know that I think no image is complete without a vignette. So under the vignette tool, I'm gonna bring that amount down, change the size to fit around my subject better. And under these advanced settings, I'm just gonna change the shape of it to fit my preferences. Now, I always like to increase this inner light slider just to bring the focus back on my subject. We have removed the blue color cast and increased the warmth in this shot, but it still feels a little flat and maybe dull. To improve on that, I'm gonna go to the sun rays tool. I'm gonna place my sun center over where our existing flare is in the shot to kind of help blend the realism of this effect. By increasing the amount, you'll see we've created a brand new flare effect in our shot. And I'm gonna use the additional sliders like penetration to control the effect of this flare in the foreground and background of this image. I don't want it to be too overpowering, so I'm gonna keep these effects pretty subtle. Under warmth, I have the option of increasing the warmth of the sun as well as the warmth of the rays. This helps keep that realism factor in check to sell this effect. And while we're on the subject of lighting, I intentionally didn't bring any strobes or flashes on this shoot to show off Luminar's newest tool, Light Depth. This tool is an improvement on a previous lighting feature that Luminar had, but they've really refined the effects to give you as much control as possible over the lighting of your image in post. So if I increase the amount here, this changes the brightness or the intensity of my new light, and then this new slider allows me to change the depth of that and where exactly the light is falling on my subject. And you can see here, it's doing a great job detecting the true depth of my scene from a 2D image. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of light skirting across the subject's face. I'll readjust the amount and then maybe pick up some of the warmth as well as the softness to really blend that effect out. And you can see a quick before and after of how I'm relighting the entire scene to have more emphasis on my subject, maybe take a little bit away from the background. While we were editing this photo on mobile, we increased the Structure AI to add a level of crispness to the shot. I do want to take our details a little bit further. So in Neo, I'm going to go to the Details tab. I'm going to bring up some of those small details as well as the Sharpen to make sure that this image is tack sharp. Now this shot is really feeling like it's at its end point. The last step that I like to do, especially inside of Neo, is go into my Layers tab. And I'm going to check out all the different cool overlays that I have the option of adding the shot. I think this yellow touch overlay is perfect because it already kind of blends with what we have going on. I'm gonna flip this horizontally and vertically so this aligns really well with the flare we created in the sun rays tool. And then I'm gonna increase the opacity of this to really brighten up that corner. Now 
Now, another really big part of this update is the spaces feature. So once I'm finished with an edit, or maybe even a gallery of edits, I can right click on an image and I can publish to space. I'm gonna create a new space and I'm gonna call this Mindy Fitness for my model. Once I hit publish, this will take me to an online gallery featuring all the images that I've edited that I've decided to publish to this space. So now I can create proofing galleries for my talent, maybe even for my client if I'm working on a project. And it gives me a preview of the images that I currently have in this space, as well as an invite link or a share option. Let's recap everything that we were able to accomplish today. We started with an edit inside of Luminar Mobile, where we worked on structure, enhance, development, and film emulation presets. We then took these edits and were able to sync them over to Luminar Neo on desktop, where we were able to push the vision of this edit even further using tools like light depth, sun rays, and overlay presets. Once our edits were confirmed, we were able to publish these images to spaces where they're hosted in an online gallery ready to share to anyone we want. If you're ready to try out some of these features for yourself, make sure you update both your mobile and desktop apps, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.